it's very important that you not only save your file regularly, but you also save any other data files that your file depends upon. In this case, I'm looking at a binocular system where I have a lens and a set of prisms and some more lenses. And I'm looking at what the imaging through the system looks like when I take a bitmap scene and image it through the entire system. If I look at Analyze, Reports and Prescription Data, and I come to the very bottom of this section, you'll see here a listing of all the files that this particular file uses. It uses the ZMAX file itself, the Sessions uh, file, for it that contains all these windows, uh, the Glass Catalog, Coatings Data, scatter profile data, ABG scattering data, the picture that we're using is this bitmap, and the data files that represent the left and right hand side Poro prisms here. Now, you could simply manage all this yourself uh, and, and keep detailed notes, but ZMAX makes it easier for you with its archive capability. And if I simply create an archive, then what I'll do, let me just call this my archive, what I'll do is I will create a file that contains everything that I need to restore this file. You can see here there are nine files stored uh, in a compressed file that contains everything that I need. This could be useful, first of all, just as a backup of today's work, so I can keep a history of what I've been doing, or it might be useful if I needed to send the file to a colleague, and I wanted to make sure that I sent everything that the file needs. The archive is created with the create archive uh, file, and it's restored with the load archive file, and that brings back every support file and also gives you options as to whether or not you want to restore existing files because with things like glass catalogs you may or may not want to restore those from archives so you can simply tell ZMAX to always overwrite them never uh, overwrite them or simply prompt every time. Now this feature makes it very easy for you to make seriously good quality backups uh, as your design matures and also for transferring between different machines that have Optic Studio installed.